Welcome to the HerbWorks Podcast featuring Roger Drummer, the formulator at HerbWorks.com. An educator in the field of nutrition and Chinese herbalism, Roger has a unique ability to keep things simple by taking all the guesswork out of complicated health issues. HerbWorks is committed to helping you improve your health and enhance your life through herbs and common sense. I'm Laura, and I'm here with your host, Roger Drummer. Hey, today's topic is amplifying your immune system. Let's talk about that today. Um, First of all, what does that even mean to amplify your immune system? That means to boost your immune function, to put you in a position to where your body's actually working the way it's supposed to, and that means it's protecting you from outside influences. Okay, so then why is the health or the strength of our immune system so important to our overall health and wellness? Well, the immune system has a lot of different functions, but the one that we worry about, especially today because it's winter time and the flu is going around, is the part (laughs) part of it that protects you from outside influences. So in other words, when you get exposed to a bacteria or a virus, what happens to you from that point on really is determined by your immune system. Is that why, for instance... You know, you have healthcare workers who are constantly exposed to the barrage of the the flu variations. Um, those of us that work in education, we're constantly around tons of kids, kids that are sick. Some people get every single thing that goes around the school or around the office or around the you know medical facility, and some people almost never get sick or very rarely get something. Or if they do, they get a very mild version over it of it, and then they're much better quickly. So is this what you're talking about, to have an amplified or strong immune system? That's exactly what I'm talking about. And, you know, amplify might not be the best word, but most people's immune function isn't really even up to a normal level. Mm -hmm. So they need to boost that up to where it's more protective. And again, with a good immune system, that doesn't mean that you won't catch something. One of the most important things about it is is that you'll recover quicker. In other mm-hmm. words, I talk to people with the flu every year. I've been an herbalist for over 20 years. And you're always going to have the people that get the flu and feel terrible for three days. Right. And they go back to work. And then you got the person who's in bed for three weeks. Right. Yeah. What's they, the difference? Yeah. The difference is their overall health, but especially the overall health of their immune system. Right. So someone who truly has a healthy immune system can catch a virus or, you know, something, a bug that's going around, but they're going to feel bad for a little while. They're going to recover and possibly not have secondary infections such as, you know, bronchitis, pneumonia, these other things that come up. Um, that's, That's a sign of a healthy immune system versus just never catching anything. Well, you know, we all prefer not to catch anything, (laughs) but the reality is, is that most of us will from time to time, because let's face it, we're exposed to so much stuff and there's so many toxins in the environment and combined with poor eating, you know, our immune system really isn't the best. But the reality is, is that you want to be able to fight something off and recover quickly. And a lot of times, someone with a healthy immune system might just feel uncomfortable for a couple of days. Yeah, that like, happens to like, me, actually. Like they're yeah. maybe catching something, but then they don't. And then yeah. all of a sudden, they're really well. That they happens to me all the time, They sleep better one actually. night, yeah. and it kicks it right out. Whereas the other person, they're just down right away, and they right. just can't get out of that mode of catching every single thing that comes through. Right. So what are some general ways that people can strengthen their immune system? Well, the first things you have to do are all things you can just do at home, right, in your lifestyle. You have to eat better and you have to sleep really well. Sleeping, if you don't, you know, if you miss sleep for a long period of time, your immune system is going to suffer. Your whole body basically suffers. You don't recover. Your brain energy goes off. But one of the things that most people don't realize with 
their diet is how much the amount of fruits and vegetables they eat influence the power of their immune system, especially its ability to right. use the antioxidants in your food to attack invaders and kill them off before they do anything for you. So if you're not eating a diet that has a good proportion of you know fresh fruits and vegetables, your immune system is going to be weak. Okay. And you have some products that also help with nutrition. It's certainly brain nutrition, right? We've talked about that with your product, Tian Chi. Right. So how does that build general nutrition for immunity? Or does well, that's, that's more of a general nutrition, general immunity product. There are herbs in it that are, that are mm -hmm. for boosting what they call um, general immunity. In fact, there's a, there's a term in China called Fujang therapy, which means supporting the body's um, life force while it's undergoing radical treatment. And most of the herbs in Tian Chi fall into that category of Fujang therapy. Huh. But if you're someone who has a weak immune system, that's probably not the it's product. It's not enough. Right. Yeah. If right. it's very low and you know you have to build your immunity, I wouldn't probably start there. I'd start with something like mushrooms, you know, medicinal okay. mushrooms. So for those of us that um, do want to build our immunity, whether it's because we're parents, we have kids bringing home germs every day, or we work in the medical field, whatever reason... Um, you do have a product called Mushroom Complex. Why did you make this product? Well, one, because of just what we're talking about. You know, I've been an herbalist since 1990. And, you know, one of the big issues with certain times of the year is people are just getting sick. They're stressed out and they need to boost their immune system. You know, People don't realize this, but stress is one of the things that just destroys your immune system. Function. Right. We talked about that when we talked about Tian Chi and why you made Tian Chi to reduce stress. Right. But, but when you are highly stressed, let's just say you got a cancer diagnosis. Right. And I'm only using that example because everybody knows if you heard those words, you're immediately stressed. Sure you are. <laughs> right. So it's and right when the, right when something happens to you, major like that, and you know that you have to build your immune system, the stress in it has just shut it all off. In fact, your natural killer cells, the ones that go out and destroy tumors, uh, basically just shut off and disappear when you're under that type of stress. So, you know, building immunity is not just one thing. Mushrooms are really great for building overall immunity, but you have to look at your whole life, sleep a little better, eat better, do something for your stress. But then, oh, wow, mushrooms can be like, you know, putting on a brand new <laughs> pair of Nikes. You just take <laughs> off. I know you are a mushroom lover. I know that in addition to um, these more medicinal herbs and these adaptogenic Chinese herbs, I know that you also have hunted mushrooms in the wild and um, are a great cook with mushrooms. Well, so. you know, I love to cook mushrooms, but I also, you know, I've, I've been around mushrooms for immune system function for over 20 years. You know, I worked in an herb shop and clinic that literally we we were the the business that kind of introduced reishi mushroom to America. And so my exposure to mushrooms happened right when I got exposed to Chinese herbs. And they've been a part of my whole growth in the industry. And, and I was a spokesperson for a company that had an immune system product based on mushrooms. Right. So I have this huge learning experience of just dealing with mushrooms. And I have a... You hold US, a patent, right? I have a U.S. patent and, and a special process to grow anthocyanin rich mushroom. That's really interesting. So um, you have, you're a patent holder on how to grow medicinal mushrooms, and you have this product, um, this mushroom complex. Why is this a synergistic formula? Tell me about what you put in this formula and how it would benefit the person who takes it. Well, I wanted to focus on not having the largest formula in the world. A lot of companies, you know, I don't know if it's because we're in America or what, but they tend we to, always want the biggest and the best. To, they tend <laughs> to think the most ingredients is the most important thing. I wanted to hone it down to the five most heavily researched 
mushrooms for your immune system that have mm-hmm. the broadest effect. And that's why I picked these mushrooms. Mm-hmm. And some of them have a modulating effect. They're not just boosting immune function. They actually have this ability to teach your immune system to calm itself or build it up, depending on what's going on. That sounds kind of like what we've talked about before as far as adaptogenic herbs. It's kind of, it's a homo, homeostasis. Okay, that's your thing, big catchword. Right? I know you love that. But homeostasis. It's, it's called so... immune modulating. And that's very important. All right, that's kind of a big word, immune modulating and homeostasis. Can you break that theory down to a little bit more basics for someone listening to this who maybe it's their first time hearing about this in the wellness well, world? Well, adaptogenic basically means that it's an herbal substance that feeds the glandular system of your body that's uh, in charge of regulating your entire system. Okay, so that's Usually what's... it's something that affects directly affects your HPA axis, which is the part of your glandular system that is involved in the stress response. Okay, so these are the type of Chinese herbs that you use, adaptogenic herbs. They right. they do different things in your body depending upon what your body needs. Is that what I understand? Right, and okay. then medicinal mushrooms and immune modulating. Immune modulating basically means that a substance has the ability to either raise your immune function if it's low Mm -hmm. or to lower it if it's too high. What? (laughs) That's That's true? How does that happen? But but that's, it's actually much simpler than you think. And the the herb that does that is reishi mushroom. That's the one that does that. And reishi mushroom is an adaptogen. So what does that tell you? Basically, reishi mushroom allows your Again, the glands that run your uh, stress response to adapt to a stress and your own body knows when to lower or raise anything that goes on in it. Your body is programmed. That's what homeostasis is. It either changes to a fluctuation in temperature, let's say, Mm -hmm. or where it makes you warmer or it cools you off, depending on what's going on. Your body is then raising your temperature and lowering it at a different time Mm -hmm. because it's adjusting to its environment. So basically, an adaptogen allows you to adjust to your environment, and that's no different than your immune system. It's basically just adjusting to its environment. Yeah, your immune system adjusts to what you've been exposed to and re- and produces more, you know, killer cells to go and get out the viruses or, or it the could bugs. be in a more pro-inflammatory state. In that instant, it needs to calm down. Talk about that for just a minute because I mean, most of us are used to this model of, you know, there's viruses and bad things out there. You get exposed to them through your mouth, your nose, whatever, you become ill. Um, but We don't always think about inflammation as being part of the immune system response. Well, any anything that any type of immune response has inflammation right at the beginning of it. It's how they generate. It's a generation of of cells that are there to kill something off. And so you will have some localized inflammation from it. But you don't want what they talk about. Uh, inflammation in a negative way is when they're talking about inflammation that takes up residence in your body and stays there. Like what? Like in an arthritic condition. Okay. Or if you have what they call C-reactive protein is really high. That's a marker in your liver that shows that there's a high inflammatory state somewhere. You could have inflammation in your arteries all the time which is one of the underlying reasons why you would ever have plaque buildup Mm -hmm. or that you would have high cholesterol. Uh, Instead of looking at it as something you take uh, a drug to lower your cholesterol, you should be looking at what's the source of the inflammation in your arteries that causes you to produce too much because it could be a corrective measure of your body to fix the inflammation. Right. So... So a a good inflammation is just the immune system attacking something and clearing it out. A bad inflammation is something that's systemic. It's there all the time because of an imbalance or something that has gone wrong and you need to deal with it. Kind of like the difference perhaps of when you work out really hard and you're a little sore the next day. That's inflammation versus if you work up every morning with that same inflammation in that same place. And you haven't done anything. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> okay so um your product this mushroom complex what's in it 
uh, it has five different medicinal mushrooms. It has reishi mushroom, the one we talked about that's the immune modulating. It has agaricus, blazy eye, which is kind of not a Chinese herb, but it's used in the medicinal system, and mm-hmm. it's, it's from South America, one of the most highly researched anti-cancer herbs in the world. Um, it has tremetes. It's often you know, just looked at or talked about as Coriolis. It has different names, but that's one of the, again, one of the most heavily studied mushrooms in the entire world. Maitake, which is, a, you know, very famous for building immune system right, function, yeah. regulating blood yeah, sugar. Yeah, that's becoming more well-known. Uh, it's also one of the most delicious mushrooms you'd ever want to eat. If you ever find it in a grocery store, maitake, uh, Get just, it. <laughs> just buy some, buy some butter, take it home, <laughs> put them together in a pan, and cook it up because it is the best thing ever. And then shiitake. Yeah, yeah, we have neighbors knocking on our doors when that dish is getting made. Shiitake um, mushroom, again, is a pretty good tasty one, sautéed in a little butter and red wine. But shiitake is probably the in the top two most potent um, antiviral immune building mushrooms in the entire world. Okay, so those are the ingredients. They those, all they those all are, are the stand, mushroom ingredients. Okay, those are all standalone you know, mushrooms, like, you know, you could find that somewhere maybe, but what did you combine them with to make this, uh, what's known as a synergistic formula? Well, you couldn't find those mushrooms just anywhere because they're, they're grown to my patent. And so they have an extra benefit to them of having a high antioxidant level to them. Mm -hmm. So the product could actually be just sold or taken as an antioxidant, Oh, but that, level of antioxidants that's just inherent in the process actually adds to its immune system. Right. Maybe this may be a sidebar, an off topic, but when I hear antioxidant, I think anti-aging. Well, that's because the main theory of anti-aging is oxidative stress, which means there's too much inflammation again in your cells. Okay. So dealing with inflammation deals with aging too soon? Yes. From an internal point of the Infl- body? Inflammation is the main ways that your cells damage mm-hmm. themselves or they become damaged in the age. And so. The so thing you're that, saying that I'm going to look younger if I take this product? I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm saying that it is a potent antioxidant. Okay. I may, be, I may be willing to make that experiment myself. The thing that makes this very unique, though, is besides the fact that I have really great mushrooms in it, is that I've combined it with a couple other herbs to boost the function of it. Okay, you know, and you did that because of your vast experience, knowing kind of I did of that what because of my life. experience, you know, again, with working with tens of thousands of people that, um, and in being a Chinese herbalist, it's all about formulation. Mm-hmm. It's not just about throwing a bunch of things into a cap. There's got to be a reason for it. And astragalus, which is one of the other herbs, is one of the main chi tonics of Chinese herbology, meaning it builds physical energy, but right. it also improves lung function. And it's just a very potent herb for overall something they call Wei Qi, which is the protective energy of your body. Okay. And then I combined it with another herb called, which is a an extract of scoot, and it has a very high bicolin content. What's bicolin? Bicolin is probably the most potent antiviral ingredient that exists really? in nature. What is it? It's a Maybe constituent. Is there name for it? No, there's no? not. That's just the name, bicolin. <laughs> it's a constituent of scoot. Oh, scutellaria. And so okay. scoot is one of the big four, or what they call the big yellow in Chinese medicine, to where it, um, and, and it's always used to clear heat and viral and bacterial infection. And so bicolin, a very high level of bicolin, um, has this ability to not only help your body fight with viruses, but it actually interferes the replication of most viruses so that they leave your body much quicker. Oh, that's interesting. So that's kind of the theory on using Vicolin and Scoot in a formula like this, because, you know, when people get sick, it's not just about boosting immune system. Your body also has this secondary thing it has to deal with, which is clearing infection Mm -hmm. and clearing inflammation. And all these things work together kind of in a synergistic way to help your body deal with what you have going on at the moment. So you could have called it a Wei Chi cocktail. 
<laughs> yeah, but no one would understand that. No, they have enough trouble understanding Tianqi, maybe, right? So... <laughs> Okay, well, that's really interesting. I like hearing about how this synergy of it's not just, you know, one thing or two things extracted, but it's actually a relationship of how these how these herbs work together. Is that what I'm understanding? It is. You know, it's just like it's no different than eating a meal, even though two things on your plate are the main dish, right? Mm-hmm. That meal is really made by the things that accompany it whether it's that, that little bit of salad or the vegetable or the bread that you have Right, might it's be the compatibility. Having. It's the compatibility of everything that makes it a full experience. And so that's, what, that's really what the formula is about, is having something that's compatible for a full experience of boosting your immune function. Huh, that is really interesting. So there's lots of reasons to take an immune system booster other than just you think you're getting sick. I mean, it sounds like what you're saying is you could take it on a regular basis oh, yeah, just you know, to reduce inflammation, to help with, well, what I would call anti-aging, right, oxidation, um, to build your system in general. Well, you know, most people make the mistake of only taking an immune system product when the fall comes around, you know, because they know they're going to get sick in the winter. Oh, sure. When you right. start having a sniffle or when you start not feeling, you but, get a little tickle in your but throat. But if they've something. ignored their immune system for years before that, then, you know, it's a bad idea. But what you should basically be doing is some sort of uh, thing for your immune system every day. Over the summer, you're building general immunity and your body's getting stronger and stronger. And then maybe when it starts to get to the fall, you double up your dose for a while because you want to just give a big boost. Like right now, I haven't caught a cold or flu anything this winter. And so, but I've been taking eight of these a day because I know my kids are going to school. Everybody's getting exposed. Mm -hmm. The flu is horrible this year. You know, people are having all kinds of problems with it. So why should I think about waiting until I get sick to do something? I just take four in the morning and four in the early evening and I forget about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have one little trick I want to tell you, too, about mushrooms. What is that? That is that if you take 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C when you take your mushrooms, it's like taking eight times as much. Because it amplifies There's what you a study it, that, what? The, the study that a combination of vitamin C along with mushrooms at the same time is just like amplifying the effect in your entire system. So everybody should be taking vitamin C anyway. Mm-hmm. You should have that at home and be taking it twice a day anyway. So just take it with your mushrooms. Sounds like a great plan. <laughs> it's a double whammy for your immune system. <laughs> for your immune. Fabulous. Well, this has been really fun talking about this. And it's making me think a little bit differently, perhaps, of um, my daily self-care routine Knowing that I'm someone in the health field as well, you know, I work out really hard sometimes. I have a a physically demanding career teaching yoga, teaching dance. So um, sometimes I get a little inflammation if I've um, practiced a little bit too hard or just, you know, in general. So I don't usually think about my immune system in regards to my athletic performance, I guess I would say. Right, right. Well, you did mention you haven't gotten sick the whole winter. No, no. And a couple of times I felt like maybe I was catching something. And then I, of course, took the mushrooms then because I was thinking about it. And then I didn't get ill. It just kind of passed. The reality is you've been taking them for two months because I dump them in your cup of herbs I give you every day. (laughs) I don't tell you because I I got too many other things going on. So I'm the guy that fills everybody's cups with herbs every day. My husband has had my husband's had stealth herbalism going on in the household. All right. So, Roger, one last question for you. You have a question from a listener about um, the quality and formulation of your product because there's a lot of mushrooms out on the market now that it's become more popular in um, science science journals and in the you know medical system in general so why is what you have formulated different than what someone might find say in a you know health food store or online well there's generally two types of mushrooms that you find and this might be a little confusing but i'm going to try and sort it out for you um There's extracts, which means the mushrooms themselves have been grown and then put through an extraction process to where they end up with a 
small bit of powder, say maybe it's a 10 to 1 or a 20 to 1, take 20 pounds of mushrooms down to 1. And right, like end, we would do with uh, flowers for essential right. oils. And so they get, they'll end up with a high polysaccharide count. And polysaccharide count meaning what the is The polysaccharide that? count is usually an indication of how high the beta-glucan is in the product. Beta-glucan is the specific chemical that they've isolated that has a huge effect on immune system function. All right. So, so if, you, if you extract the mushroom, you're going to get a higher, a higher number. quantity of the specific thing that helps you. All right. Okay. And then there's the other type of mushrooms, which is the ones I use are grown on a mycelium that they grow them in a laboratory because it has to be pristine so that there's no bacteria or anything around to interfere with the growth process. And so what my patent was, was actually developing that type of mycelium to grow it on so that the mushrooms themselves become a high antioxidant food, right? It's an anthocyanin rich, meaning it's a purple anthocyanin. And so that's what's imparted into the mushroom. Oh, just like any gardener knows, what you put in the soil is going to affect the quality of the plant. With those mushrooms, they generally don't have as high a polysaccharide content because they're not extracted. They're dried, put through an autoclave, meaning that they're heated a bit to break down some of the mushroom wall. This Mm -hmm. is something you have to do with all mushrooms. Even if you take them home from the store, if you just take them home and eat them raw, you won't get any benefit out of them. No, they're much better cooked in butter. But you have to cook (laughs) them in butter because the heat is what releases it, the active ingredients from the fiber of the mushroom. Right. right? And again, that's a common... Most cooks know if you cook something, it's going to have a different taste. So this is a mycelium. And... The reason I chose this is not just because I had a patent. I got in all kinds of mushrooms and tried them out. I wanted to put out the best, most affordable thing that I could give people to build their immune system. And there's advantages to both. In fact, I used to be in the camp that only thought if it wasn't an extracted mushroom, it didn't work. And then I So had, what made you change your mind? I got a big slap in the face because I <laughs> I became <laughs> I became a spokesperson for a company that was selling mycelium mushrooms. And over a period of five to six years, I saw more response to the mycelium grown mushrooms than I was getting out of the mushrooms that were extracted. Okay, so you and changed so, your mind after you saw and results. So it, it changed the way that I viewed things, and, mm-hmm. and I don't know how to explain it scientifically. And, and for you don't most, have to. I'm just and most it. things, this is how most people do everything. They look at a scientific sheet, they look at a, a number of an, in, an active ingredient, and they buy the highest one. Well, that doesn't indicate the synergy of the plant being still in the You mean extract. that's how most formulators work? That's how most, most people like me aren't going to do that. That's how most formulators and most companies work because they don't work with herbs. They're you looking know, at a many, bottom line and they're looking at... Some most people at a company that are putting together a product haven't talked to 30,000 people or been out on a lecture tour all over America and Europe with products. Right, and you and, have lectured all over the world, I know. And have, and have people responding to products. So it changed, it flipped my whole idea about what actually works. And even in the environment I was in Los Angeles when I was working, I got better response out of the ones that were grown this way. Hmm. I don't understand it because you would think the higher ingredients always the best. And so I've been using these in fact, when I want Sometimes, I will just say, sometimes what's closer to nature is best. Sometimes, sometimes it is. Sometimes what's closer to its original state sometimes it works is. differently in the body. Right. right. So, it's not explainable. Always. So, so what I did was when I decided to make this, for two or three months before we, we finalized the formula, I got in all kinds of mushrooms, grown different ways, different substrates, extracted powders. And you became a human the high, experiment. The <laughs> highest, the <laughs> highest um, potency extracted mushrooms. Right. And I put them together in formulas and gave them to people. Oh, so you had guinea pigs. And guinea pigs. Okay. And all I asked them was, tell me which one makes you feel better when you take it. Mm-hmm. And Very er- scientific. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that scientific, but, you know, part of being healthy is feeling better. Well, right? sure. And everybody told me the same thing. It was the ones that I gave them that were grown 
on my patent and the mycelium mushroom. Okay, so you weren't just being egotistical when you chose. No, that and way. I've had I've had different people call me that were therapists and tell me, "Hey, I found a great product today," you know, and uh, they were using it and. They unbelievable results. They thought it worked great, and they don't really like mushrooms that much. And it, and it turned out to be my product. That's right? really funny. So That's it was really kind of funny to me. They didn't know, it, you know, at the time. But so I just felt confident that I was going to give somebody a really good product, something that worked, and that they could be comfortable purchasing. So. What I'm really hearing from you, the bottom line about how this product is different, is that it's formulated from a different point of view. It's formulated from a different realm of experience than perhaps what most um, people that look at something on paper or who are trained, maybe not as extensively as you are, right? It's formulated differently and that you have uh, real life research with it. Right. Real life experience. Real life I try experience. not to. I love science, and I look at all the science. I know of you everything do. You constantly I do, read science journals. Everything that I do, but it's not the last determining factor because you're basically measuring chemicals, and you're not measuring humans. And sometimes you have to mix a little chemical with your little, whole food, and that's what alchemy a little, is. Right? A little this with that, and a little so you right, know. Right, but isn't that what alchemy but, is yeah, in it's, all it's things? What alchemy is, and it's I mean, not just about looking at, what, at what's on a paper. No, it's, it's like about, a really good cook, right? It's about your life experience. What what they put into it with their experience, with how they think something might react once they put it in the frying pan, right? Is is hugely different than someone who's just following a recipe and doesn't have experience actually cooking. So this is why I came up with this, and this is why I really feel it's one of the best immune system products you could ever try. Great. Well, that is a really interesting information on how to amplify your immune system, how to strengthen the immune system, and also some really good reasons why we should, certainly some things that I don't normally think of myself. So thank you. 